I'm Miko, living in Tokyo. I've been teaching how to cook and bake for almost 20 years while raising two daughters. Today, I will make kakiyage with delicious ingredients in May. Kakiyage is one type of tempura. The first one is fava beans and scallops. The other one is new carrots and sakura shrimp. Let's taste freshly fried with fragrant salt. Sift the flour to make a crispy kakiyage. Keep the flour, water, and mayonnaise in the refrigerator. Remove the fever beans from the pot. You can open it along the line like this. You can also take it out by twisting it. Make a notch in the center of the second skin and peel it. Use peeled fresh scallops. Rinse quickly and dry with paper. Today I want to make fava beans as a main, so I cut them smaller. I'll fry them in four pieces, so prepare it like this. First cut the edge and cut with the side down. Cut into 2-3 mm pieces with a length of 4 cm. I'll fry them in two pieces, so prepare it like this. Use dried sakura shrimp caught in spring in Shizuoka Prefecture. Make butter. Put the mayonnaise in chilled water. Originally we use eggs, but since it's only a small amount, I'll substitute mayonnaise because it is made from eggs and oil. Add the flour little by little and mix it roughly so that it doesn't become sticky. The temperature of the oil is very important. Drop butter, it falls to the bottom and slowly rises. This is too low. It sinks a little and immediately falls to the surface. This is the optimum te temperature. Keep this temperature. Remove the fried dregs, not to damage the oil. Put one time ingredient in a bowl. Add a little starch and lightly mix. Put a little butter and mix. Place the ingredient on the spatula and slide them into the oil. Don't touch until the surroundings are hard. When they harden, turn them over. If you tilt them on hot oil, the oil will drain well. If you gently drop them towards the pot, they will not be scattered. They will be fried in about 2 minutes. If you use rice butter, you will get a lighter kakiyage. Put a little butter and mix. Place the ingredient on the spatula so that they spread out. You can add ingredients until they harden.
If you make the temperature of the oil up just before finishing, the oil will drain well. Thick pans are recommended for deep frying because it keeps the temperature of the oil. Fry a small amount at one time, it will be crispy. If the butter remains, fry the seaweed or something and use it without waste. They are crispy and perfect for snacks. Let's drain before the oil cools. If you keep it in a cool and dark place, you can use it for deep frying a few times. I also use it for stir fry. In order not to pollute the precious earth, add a little curry powder or matcha to the salt. Frying is an excellent way to make something very delicious in a short time. Please try it.